WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Monday, the 15th of April. At the market close, we've got the Dow down 248 at 37,336. Uh, We're looking at this candle here called Chapman Wave Red Roman Candle. Implication being that if at any point tomorrow, the Dow is able to trade for 90 minutes above 38,000, sorry, 200, there's a chance to retest today's high of 38,386. <clears throat> if it closes two days underneath today's low of 37,657, you've got to be careful because that 37,100 is going to be the next target that we're looking at. We're looking at the S&P. Oops, the S&P right now is trading at the close. It's trading uh, down 61 at 5,061. What a huge candle and we were talking about this in the show, uh, Tom's show just now that I sat in for. Um, this is a the, the nine period moving average for the first time since the uh, March 3rd turn to the upside. The nine period moving average has decidedly closed lower. That's a big negative. And the weekly chart, we will talk about that in my show in the Tiger Technicians Hour tomorrow, what the implication is in these weekly uh, charts. QQQ right now, uh, it's a closing at down 753. <clears throat> At 430.78, look at that huge candle, took out Chapman Wave inside track, propellant zone, that entire area of 438 to 440 is a big resistance area. We're down at the 431 level. Uh, it's not good. IWM, the Russell 2000, huge move to the downside, 195.83, uh, down 290. And the MACD, all the technicals are very weak. That says 192, the 200 period moving average could be its uh, key support level that it targets over the coming week or so. Uh, the VIX is up, uh, sorry, the gold is up 27 at 2401. This is part of that whole geopolitical. So gold is that icon for fear geopolitically and is holding really well at this particular point. Got huge support in the 2320 area. It's at 2401. Dollar is the currency that the favored currency, and it's doing extremely well, it's up 16 ticks at 106.20. These are all different things. Um, they have different implications. Bonds, that's the big thing that really worries me. Not good action means yields are going higher. So with that, I'm saying be careful. Just raise a little bit of cash. Don't get too excited, but just be careful. And have a wonderful evening. We'll see you tomorrow. And stay tuned to TFNN tomorrow. It should be an exciting day.